G'day. Um, yeah, Bisho here. Don't talk too much on videos uh, these days. Um, yeah, so I'll try and keep the commentary to uh, a minimum. Um, yeah, effectively, uh, this is just a video of how to make a, a cheap version of a Sabiki rod. I've nicknamed the Sabisho. Um, yeah, so basically, it's just 25 mil conduit with a you know an old reel that I had lying around that used to be my son's. Nothing too fancy. Um, really, you only need a hacksaw, drill bit. Um, obviously, your, your reel, your line, your 25 mil conduit, um, and a bit of PVC glue, something you'd use pretty similar to uh, what you put, you know, downpipe and that sort of stuff together. Um, yeah, this is all scrap for me. Um, I didn't actually spend any money on this. Um, the video I've made, um, I haven't actually glued it together. I just taped it together for the, uh, just so I could put the video together. Um, but yeah, typically just um, you just glue it together with PVC glue and it holds um, quite well. Uh, the last one I made kept for quite a while. Um, it was a while ago. I made it for a full Sabiki rig, so it was like eight or nine foot long, very bouncy and you know, the, way too long. Uh, not very practical. So we ended up in the bin quite a few years ago. This one's only about four and a half or five foot, so it's a lot easier to handle. Uh, for me, I fish in a kayak offshore, um, fiberglass hull, so I've got a fish hatch. Um, so it's quite a big fish hatch, but um, I know there's a lot of guys out there that don't have the space and uh, inside their hatches, or um, or they, you know, strap them down on top. Um, they, the fiberglass ones will just end up broken. So at least with the shorter ones, it's a lot more manageable. I think I cut it down to about three hooks on a Sabiki rig, um, so I sort of had about you know this much room before the the swivel uh, wanted to poke its head back up um, through the hole that I drilled, um, and basically the the length was stoppers is is the sinker on the outside edge, stopping it from coming back up. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Yes, and uh, leave some feedback if you want to, um, and yeah, if you've got any questions or anything, let me know. Alright, thanks for watching. Okay, so we've got um, just a good length of PVC pipe. I think it's 25mm from memory. Yep, yeah, 25mm PVC pipe. Um, you'll see at the end that it's flared. That's for another piece of conduit to be able to go in here. Um, so what we do is we use those sort of cut two pieces off the flared bit. And then uh, what that allows us to do is um, basically that will fit straight over the top of here. And um, basically that will, we'll use those to hold a, just a small reel on, um, cheap reel, um, nothing too fancy, um, unless you really want to spend money on it, however I don't think you need to spend a lot of money because you're not really going to get heavy uh, heavy weighted fish or anything on it. Um, so what I did, I left that flared bit just a little bit. Um, so what that'll do, that'll allow us to bellow it out. So we're going to um, basically heat the end of that tube um, just with a lighter or even a hairdryer will work. Um, and then we will just pretty much Push it over that, and that'll help bellow that end out a bit, and uh, that'll give us a bellow. Okay, so we're just going to basically, no need to get it too hot. We'll basically just heat that up, make it nice and warm, just on the end. Hot enough, and then slowly push it down and out. So you'll see it's starting to bellow. So we need to get that temperature nice and warm so that we can see we get a nice even bellow, which we can clean up later on with a file. On this side, if you've got a heat gun, this will work even better than that.
so we'll just speed this up a bit um, but yeah just keep doing it I don't know why I've used the word bellow but flaring is probably the better word so you just flare it out so your hooks don't get caught up on it basically so just keep going for as long as you want so you just want to sort of line it up here and just sort of get a rough idea around about where you'd like it to go making sure you've got enough of the like a butt I guess for your rod holders keep it away from the water if you're going to stick it in a rod holder and just slide the first um, I guess sleeve is probably the best word for it um, then basically you just, I'll go with a screwdriver and just want to heat up um, heat up the plastic make sure your air conditioner is turned off so it doesn't blow your lighter out but um, yeah just want to heat it up put the screwdriver under underneath just to pry it up a little bit just so you can get a start with the reel sorry the yeah the reel underneath the um, under that sleeve there and that'll start um, lifting it up you can see once you heat it up a little bit um, it gets quite pliable uh, don't want to go too hot or else you'll just end up um, cracking it and uh, you'll have to go find another um, section that has a wide sleeve on it so you can heat it up so I think I made one of these years ago uh, but I made a full I think it was about eight foot long and it was way too way too wobbly so this one's a bit of a shorter version last time I made one I did all the heating with a hairdryer it worked quite well um, so you don't need too many you don't need any special tools really just um, a hacksaw um, and some sort of a lighter and a drill with a small drill bit um, probably the only tools you really need screwdriver is just a bit of an added bonus just to try and get you started but uh, most of the time you can probably get it started without needing a screwdriver we got the first one on then you just want to slide up the next one if you lubricate it uh, that'll slide off a bit easier but um, I like a nice tight fit on there um, just will hold it a bit more secure yep so same as what we did with the other one just want to heat it up um, so you can sort of I guess yeah get that lip up you can see the other one a little bit there on the right hand side it's um, it's already lifted at this point alignment doesn't really matter too much it's more just making sure you know roughly where your rods gonna or your reels gonna sit just so you can get them molded to the right shape yeah, so you can see it got quite soft there so you just gotta be careful you don't crack it because it will crack if you overheat it and uh, lift it um, it tends to cool down pretty quick too 15 seconds 20 seconds or so and it'll pretty much hold its shape that you've set it to then you can see like pretty much slide it under without dropping your reel on the bench <laughs> yep tighten it up pull it nice and tight and basically that's the that's that's the hard bit um, you want to slide up a bit further, warm it up a bit, just watch you don't burn your hands when you try and slide it back up. But, um, yeah, and from there you basically just want to get some PVC glue, same as what you'd use on downpipes and things like that. You get that from your hardware pretty cheap. Um, yeah, so you just disassemble this, you know, whack a bit of glue on there, slide it all back together and um, that's that bit done. So I've just taped this one up just for, um, I didn't have any PVC glue in the house unfortunately, so I just taped it up for the, to give you an idea of how this all sort of ends up. You can see there that the uh, little flat section sort of, it's the moulded part now and it'll hold that shape quite well. And again, this is just for like catching bait. So we're not going to too much, um, too much effort to ensure strength and not a quality reel or anything like that. A um, little overhead, a um, little small bait caster might be a good reel. Sit nice and close, and um, so you can see this angle here. The line's sitting quite high, so you can imagine as that reel spins around, it's quite tight. Um, so I'll probably change that braid out for mono, just so it's a little bit more robust going through the hole. We'll have some sharp edges on the hole. Just mark where you roughly want to. Want your line to go into the center, and then uh, obviously don't drill through your kitchen bench. Start straight, and then just angle it back once you get a start. 
and I usually just round it out a little bit, making sure that hole's a little bit wider, just to get a nice smooth entry point into the uh, tube. Try and deeper it as much as you can. Um, you can either use a drill bit like I'm doing now, or uh, you see in a second, I'll take the drill bit out of the drill and actually use that as a as a bit of a file. Um, just to get in that small hole and get any of those last little edges off. Yeah, so just make sure you get that angle down nice and low with your drill, just so it's got a nice smooth entry. Again, straight hole would be fine, but I just like to round that edge out a little bit, just so it's a little bit of a wider entry point. Makes it a little bit easier for threading in as well. And then I just sort of deburred the hole on the inside and with the drill bit. Okay, so there you go, so get it nice and smooth, and then basically um, that's it. Just got to sort of thread the line in, and um, put your sinker on, or oh, hook up your, uh, your obviously uh, sabiki rig. Put a decent weight sinker on the end that's not going to pull into the into the tube, so pick something um, a little bit bigger in diameter. Uh, yeah, and with your sabiki rig, obviously depending on the length you make your your um, little jigging rod here, um, just cut it so that uh, so that there's no way that the um, the swivel will get stuck in that hole. So I usually try and keep it so the length of the swivel sort of sits about ten centimeter or probably five ten centimeters away from that hole. Never any good at pulling these things apart. Sometimes I get it first go, sometimes I just stuff it up. Yep, try whatever night you like. And then, um, yeah, so this is basically the end, end result. So a good size sinker so it won't pull in. See there, there's a line. Line coming out the hole there at a nice angle. I don't worry about plugging the end of the butt. That way water can just roll out of it if it wants to. Doesn't trap water in there. Um, and the method I got the line through, braid's pretty light. Um, I just stuck a, um, I think it was just a decent sized Nico pen or marker pen down the tube and it picked it up on the way out and braid comes straight out when I was threading it through. So it worked pretty well. A couple little test runs. One thing I have noticed is you want to point it down when you're reeling it in. Uh, there is still the opportunity for those hooks to get hung up on the on the bellowed end there but um, you know if you point it down it's pretty good. Righto, that's the Sabisho rig. Hopefully um, it's going to help somebody. Um, I know there's nothing worse for me than when I'm out fishing, pulling out a sabiki rig, gets tangled up, you know, gets hooked up on the way out, gets caught on the lines in the hatch of my kayak, um, just a frustrating um, time. So for me, this is a nice simple solution, you know, it's affordable, uh, make it at home, maybe takes you half an hour, an hour, depending on your skill level with tools and things like that, but yeah, it's not a... Not an onerous task to try and make one of these up. So, all right. Hope you enjoy, and uh, catch you soon. See ya.